What's up, what is this? This is good to my soul. This is coming to another YouTube video. Here we are, internationally, right now, worldwide. Sync is towards that crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network. Coming to you, another YouTube video with a place to give all your money, a place to grow with Quantigo. Yeah. Whether you're saving, investing, in it, or trying to make the most of it, we've got a brilliant, easy way to build wealth. Earn up to 15% weekly. And uh, industry leading interest on crypto. On your crypto. Take advantage of today's investment option. Invest for the tele, for the long term. Award winning automation and more. Alright, so. Here's Quantigo. Alright, we uh, recently started talking about them once again. Alright, um. Uh, we reintroduced them back on Sunday and you know it looks like full steam ahead once again Quantigo is looking like it's back to where it once was as it was trying to uh, establish a footing earlier in the year and then um, whatever, whatever issues may have come from it they decided to revamp it, rebrand it, and all that stuff, and um, that's what they did. So, here we are, right? Quantico, and since we rebooted it, restarted it, I figured I'd check back in again today, Wednesday, to see how everything's going since uh, it's been rebooted once again. And... Um, you know, my understanding is that they are looking to uh, be better than what they were before. So, you know, I understand that if it's looking like you got to see how everything goes and you want to build a little bit of trust and you want to just observe, that's perfectly fine. You want to see all that before anything, it's no problem with that. So Quantico features uh, competitive interest, uh, instant interest. <laughs> What does that mean? Instant interest, right? It's kind of funny. Uh, swift withdraws. So instant interest. Right? I guess uh, any sort of accumulation is instant. I mean, it's kind of funny. Uh, swift withdraws. So they're not saying instant withdraws. They're saying fast withdraws, right? Strong alignment. Uh, Quantico services. They have professional team. Uh, elevated customer care. Account security. And then these are the plans, right? So you have one, two, and three for the S. S is for short term, I suppose. So one, two, and three. Yeah, 12, 22, and 30. All right, so 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Depending on the dollar amount you put in and how much time you want to commit to it. 12, 22, or 30 days. You pick uh, short term one, two, or three. Then you have X one, two, and three. These are the weeklies. I guess they're emphasizing up to 15.5 weekly. Uh, maybe they anticipate, maybe not a lot of people go beyond that or want this one, but it doesn't matter. Uh, eight weeks. All right, so these are longer term. These are two months, so it's double the time of the third plan up here. You have one, two, and three. Again, it depends on the dollar amount you put in, and it's every week you get paid. So, me, um, I got to see more before I commit to like a weekly deal, but it's not my kind of thing. So, if anything, I would go for this if, if it looks to be that good and promising. But at the same time, again, I'm not into a weekly thing. If I had 1800 I'd rather just commit to the 30 days, like what I did with my 500, you know, so my 510, I guess. So, I'd rather just do that, um, where I get something daily, whereas here it's weekly. 10% uh, weekly, if you break that down, you're looking at, uh, let's see, 7 days. I mean, I got the calculator, I guess I could whip that out. So, week... You got 10% and 7 days a week. So 1.4. So you're going to make more, obviously, because 1.3 is here. 
So you got to make more. But still, I'd rather, um, you know, commit to a daily thing than a weekly thing. And that's just my personal um, feeling about it, I guess you could say. I, my personal thought about it, that how I would go about it personally if I had 1800 bucks to put into it, which I don't want to commit to right now. But I did once uh, earlier in the year commit a thousand into it, and I was lucky enough to get it out um, while they were dealing with their issues. But because they said that they fixed it and they're going to do better, me on the you know I always give the benefit of the doubt in crypto and in real life. So maybe that could be, you know, in a sense, my Achilles heel for some things in life that I shouldn't be giving the benefit of the doubt to that's always been the person that I am um, you know in terms of how I go about things uh, I tend to give the benefit of the doubt more than anything and um, you know whatever happens happens from that right I'll give the benefit of the doubt and then if it happens that things are fine and good and the outcome is good from it then cool uh, if the outcome doesn't become positive, even after I give the benefit of the doubt, well, then it is what it is, right? It just, it's just what happens. So, like I said, I, I tend to give that more than anything, and then whatever happens, happens. So, that's how I look at it. All right. Um, but yeah, so these are the plans. Leverage our financial strength and stability. Uh, create your account. Fund your pro, fund your account. Activate your plans. Monitor your investments. Withdraw. All right. So you have all that. Let me see here. Hmm. So since Sunday to now Wednesday, um, with this new deposit of 510, th these two are based on when I was in it earlier in the year. So, so that's different. And then you can see here, uh, total invest. That was based on earlier in the year, uh, except for the 510. The 510 is current because this is just cumulative over time so they haven't erased any of that data it is kind of just carried forward even after this rebranding and revamping of the platform so this 510 is now put to here so in essence it's my third deposit but technically it's the first one since this whole rebranding experience um I don't know what the withdrawal minimums are. So let me see. I guess we could give it a shot here. 1989. And see if that would do anything. Because it's making 1.3% daily. So that's what that is. All right, so we'll round it to 19. So there you go, process within 48 hours. But it doesn't tell you the minimums. Uh, let me see if it tells you like a minimum. So I know for future reference. All right, so you need $10 minimum for Tron. How about Bitcoin? Let's see what Bitcoin is. I think it's higher. $25. Okay, so there you go. Uh, I can imagine $25 minimums for Bitcoin and Ethereum because blockchain fee, gas fee, right? Uh, Litecoin, Tron, USDT, USDT, Doge, Solana, USDC. Well, I think USDC is on the Ethereum network here, USD20. 
That's probably going to be right up there with Ethereum at this $25 mark. The rest of these guys in the middle, these middle six, will probably be that $10 minimum. I mean, you could do USDC, and then you'll see it's probably the same thing as well. <laughs> $100,000. I guess they don't want you to use USDC then, so don't deposit USDC. Let me see if that's even turned on. Yeah, so I wouldn't deposit that. All right, so don't deposit that. <laughs> it was $100,000. How about Solana? $5. Not bad. Solana, $5. Probably Doge is 5 bucks too, but 5 to $10 for the middle here. So, so ERC-20, don't deposit that. If you want to use a stable dollar coin or token, whatever you want, not a token, stable dollar, use USDT. Uh, and then go from there. But yeah, so that's your latest update here. We're going to see how this worked out. Check back in again. I uh, just want to do a, a checkup on Quantigo, see if they're back to the promised land like they used to be, and then go from there. Um, even though the promised land wasn't too long <laughs> uh, back then, I think they had some sort of weird internal problems. You know, I don't know what it was. Um... It was just a weird situation, but like I said, they came back and they're saying that they they are better than what they were and they want to prove it. That's why they did a whole rebranding and all that stuff. So, like I said, I give the benefit of the doubt. I'll roll with it, see how it goes. And then we'll monitor this. Uh, I'll show you guys the latest uh, once I receive a withdrawal from it and then go from there. Um, and we'll just continue it that way, all right? So Sunday, check back in again. You know, give it a couple more days, uh, like I did with, I did on Sunday, right? Sunday to Wednesday, and then I'll check back again on Sunday, and then we'll go from there. But that's the latest on Quantigo, and uh, while I'm at it, let's take take a look at my link tree over here. Let's see if I can find it though. Here it is. This is my latest here. I'm gonna ask, oh, you can't even hear it anyways. Um, but check it out. You're like wondering, what the hell is this? <laughs> this is one of the videos. Uh, I did a new uh, mashup, all right, of um, electronic, dance, trance, you know, rave, like in the early millennium, so late 90s, 2000s. This is, I'll fly with you, this song. So I'll fly with you. So, you know, this is some classic EDM that people still love to this day. So good stuff. So yeah, took a lot of work for this one, but I just wanted to show that to you guys. <laughs> New mix, all right, it's in my link tree. Where is my link tree at? I gotta find it now. Is it over here? No, is it over here? Shit, where is my link tree at? Is it over here? Is it over here? I gotta find my link tree. Give me one sec. All right, so uh, here's my link tree. Uh, you can see here, this is all the matches I've done. This is over the last two years now I've been doing mashups of different um, collections of songs and whether it's the record label or a particular artist or genre. Uh, that's what I've been doing here. So freestyle, I had a request for freestyle, so I did freestyle. And then Latin pop, hip hop, that's a good one too. And then uh became a fan of Pitbull now because of this one. <laughs> As I wasn't before. And this house dance, electronic party pop mix is what I called it. Uh, so that I wanted to do after I did the freestyle. I was like, wow, I want to start doing this one. So that's what I did. 
Other than that, subscribe to everything I got. Comment down below. Links are in the description. Uh, Telegram group as well. Comment down below. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.